My name is Claim Jairi. Welcome to the Space Center, Houston, Texas. Inside the space. Waswahili wenzangu, angalieni ndani ya hii ndege. Si lazima uwe na miguu. Na ndani ya hii ndege hata kama una miguu ama mikono kusonga ni kujisukuma yule ambaye kuna miguu na yule hana miguu safari ile ni ile ni sawa hakuna mwingine ambaye atafika mapema kushinda mwingine ila tu ujisukume kule unataka kwenda unaenda ukiangusha your apple yani ile fruit haitaenda chini kwa sababu hakuna ile force ya gravity yani kile kitu ukitaka kuweka weka mkate yako tu hapo kwa hewa ikawe ikae tu hapo na unakula itafanya namna hivyo kwa sababu hakuna ile force ambayo inafuruta vitu chini ukiziangusha hiyo ndio uzuri ya kwenda kuishi kwa space
rocket was initially designed as an intercontinental ballistic missile and was repurposed by NASA to carry the crewed Mercury capsule into space. One of the Mercury capsules, Space 7, can be seen back at Starship Gallery at Space Center Houston. The slightly larger rocket, ironically named Little Doe 2, was a test rocket used during the Apollo program to test the launch escape system or the tower-like structure on top of the rocket. This system would have been used in an emergency during the first two minutes of the flight, and the same launch escape technology is still being used today in modern rocket designs. Rockets like these were influential, influential in the development and support of the earliest moon missions. Likewise, the Artemis program will rely on information from the Apollo program. And before I drop you off at Rocket Park, I do have some important information. Please maintain it until the tram comes to the April 1. And while you are here, for your own safety, please not climb the rocket models or cross the street towards the long one. Long one definitely would not appreciate that very much. This is a self-guided tour, so you can stay here as long as you would like. Once you're ready to leave, line up under the covered area, and a tram will be coming to pick you up every 10 to 15 minutes. And please do not exit through the same gate that you enter. Alright, you may exit towards your left. Hope you enjoy your time here at Rocket Park. Guys, this is Saturn V rocket. This was the first rocket to take humans to the moon. The Saturn V rocket is a three-stage rocket that stands about 363 feet tall and weighs about 6.2 million pounds. But was there an Apollo 10? Yes. Apollo 10 was manned space mission by NASA that flew to the moon in May 1969, just two months before the historic Apollo 11 mission that landed the first humans on the moon. The crew of Apollo 10 consisted of three people. Let's talk about Apollo 9 mission. It was the third uh, manned mission in the Apollo program and it was launched on March 3rd, 1969. The mission was des designed to test the lunar module which would later be used by missions to the moon. The story of the Apollos is both rewarding and trying. Apollo number one was the first crewed mission of the United States uh, Apollos program, which aimed to land humans to the moon. But on January 27, 1967, a fire broke out in the command module during a pre-launch test killing all the crew members. Command pilot Vigil, they called him Gus, uh, senior pilot Edward, and pilot Roger were all killed. Rest in peace. Guys, there is so much history, there is so much to talk about in this place. It's only time. And we go before each lunch. A contrast to a one time East Standard 5. No, no, if you look down the road, you'll see our Falcon 9 rocket. This rocket is entirely reusable and includes two separate resupply missions to the ISS in 2017. That's why it does look a little bit dirty. This reusable technology allows NASA to send astronauts into space with much more frequency and at a much lower cost. This will become especially important as we establish an orbiting lunar science station and an outpost on the moon's surface over the next 20 years. To the right of the 
Falcon 9 rocket, you can see your space shuttle independence on top of a real Boeing 747 shuttle carrier aircraft. While the space shuttle independence is just a mock-up shuttle, the Boeing 747 is a real shuttle carrier aircraft, and will go fewer than 155 separate missions across the U.S. carrying shuttles. may look like not much. There, there is actually an alligator living here, although he does not like to come out in the hot months. His name is Miko, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff, and that's what happens when you let NASA engineers name animals. Oh. There's an alligator that was here. There's only one. Called Amigo. I don't see it. Is he? Yeah. He's hiding somewhere. Maybe trying to catch those birds. our tram tour today and we hope to see you again soon. Please remain seated until our, our tram driver opens the gate and, you can, and once he does, you can exit towards the right. And if you have any stroller, please feel free to go get them. All right, you may exit towards the right, but the rest of your day is out of this world. <laughs> Guys, uh, before we leave, we've decided to come and check out this aircraft. Uh, this is similar to NASA 905 shuttle carrier aircraft, which was used to transport space shuttles from landing sites back to the Kennedy Space Center. The Kennedy Space Center is uh, actually located in Florida, United States. It has been NASA's uh, primary launch center for human space flight missions since the 1960s. And the Kennedy Space Center is located on Merritt Island and has launch pads, assembly buildings, and other facilities for launching space. Hey guys, thank you so much for traveling with us. We are now back in Sacramento. Continue watching. Thank you so much and please remember to subscribe. Yeah, from Madonso. Yeah, from Madonso. Yeah, from Madonso.